to the third episode of the Zero Waste Journey. I'm here at Belle Isle Beach and as you can see, it's full of tourists. So let's go. So I've come down to Belle Isle Beach, which is one of the most uh, sought after beaches to learn how to surf. There are lots of surf schools around, lots of people learning how to surf behind me. have the problem of pollution. I'm studying sustainable tourism management right now and a lot of people think that what I'm doing has nothing to do with tourism. It is the process of attracting tourists to the area that's causing so much pollution. Cleaning products, obviously it's not very easy to buy cleaning products that are zero waste or you'd have to make them and still whatever you do try to make comes in some type of plastic packaging or bottle. I really think that you should all invest in bagless vacuums. You basically use it and then take it off and empty it out into your compost bin. I didn't use a vacuum for the last three years, but since I'm back in Europe, I had to buy one and I really recommend that you do the same. Instead of buying liquid laundry detergent, it's a lot more environmental to buy washing powder in bulk. Also, I haven't bought or used softener in many years. I feel like it's just a marketing scheme to get you to buy more than you actually need. As for the program, I use the 30 minute or the one hour one on my washing machine, which is a lot more ecological and I save water. So I suggest you do the same. There are many different options for detergents, but I only need baking soda. Keep in mind that using too many chemical products for cleaning the house is actually really bad for your own health, for your children's health, and for your pet's health. So this isn't just about not buying too many plastic bottles. I have three main ingredients that I use to clean pretty much the entire house. The first one is vinegar. This is cleaning vinegar. I use this to clean the floors, to like the kitchen countertops, I use it to clean the bathrooms, and that's really all we need. The second ingredient is for really tough stain, and I use baking soda. And the third one is really optional, it's just essential oil. Honestly, these are all the ingredients we need. This way, you're not only saving money, but you're also reducing how much waste you produce just so that you can clean your house. I dilute some cleaning vinegar, add some water to it, a couple of drops of essential oils, and I use that mixture to mop the house. Also guys, when I'm done cleaning the kitchen counters, I just use this cloth that my mom bought me. So don't buy paper towels, just use a cloth and then wash it and then reuse it. Same thing goes with drying your hands. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The next episode will be all about zero waste clothing. I will be talking a bit about how we can overcome the problem of fast fashion. All right guys, see you next time. Bye.